Hello everyone. Welcome to Gologica Today topic is data modeling about roadmap, about course. Introduction. Entity relationship. ER. Model. Relational model. Dimensional model. Data warehouse model. Object-oriented model. Hierarchical database model. Salaries, roles, and responsibilities. Training program. Now we are discussing about course. The Data Modeling Fundamentals course provides a practical and structured introduction to designing effective data models for business intelligence, analytics, and application development. It is designed for professionals looking to translate business needs into logical and physical data structures that support scalable and high-performing systems. The course covers essential concepts such as conceptual, logical, and physical modeling, normalization, entity relationship diagrams, and dimensional modeling star and snowflake schemas. Learners gain hands-on experience using industry tools like ER Studio, Oracle Data Modeler, or SAP Power Designer, depending on the platform. Participants will understand how to structure data for operational and analytical purposes, aligning models with business rules and data governance standards. The curriculum includes topics such as data warehousing, data lakes, master data management, and metadata management. It also explores modeling strategies for cloud and hybrid environments, emphasizing performance, scalability, and maintainability. This course is ideal for data architects, analysts, BI developers, and database administrators involved in data integration and design. By the end, learners will be equipped to build robust data models that serve as the foundation for enterprise data initiatives. Certification options are available for those seeking formal validation of their skills. Introduction to Entity Relationship Model A foundational approach to data modeling, this method is used to visually represent the structure of a database. It defines how data is connected and logically stored. In this model, entities represent real-world objects or concepts such as customers, products, or orders, while attributes describe their characteristics like customer name or order date. Relationships illustrate how entities interact, such as a customer placing an order. ER diagrams use symbols like rectangles for entities, ovals for attributes, and diamonds for relationships. These visuals help designers and stakeholders clearly understand data requirements before building a system. The model simplifies communication between business and technical teams, ensuring accurate data design. It is commonly used during the conceptual and logical phases of database development to support consistency, scalability, and efficient system planning. Understanding the relational model. The most widely used approach for managing structured data is the relational model, introduced by EF Card. It organizes information into tables, also called relations, where each table consists of rows and columns. Each row represents a unique instance, while each column defines a specific data field. Key concepts include primary keys to uniquely identify records and foreign keys to establish relationships between tables. This ensures data integrity and referential consistency across the system. Data is queried and manipulated using structured query language. The model supports normalization, which reduces data redundancy and enhances performance. Known for its simplicity, flexibility, and strong theoretical foundation, it remains central to database systems such as Oracle, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQL Server, supporting diverse business and enterprise applications. Let's now explore dimensional modeling. A popular technique in data warehousing and business intelligence focuses on optimizing data retrieval and supporting complex analytical queries. This method organizes data into two main types, fact tables and dimension tables. Fact tables store measurable data like sales revenue or order quantities, while dimension tables hold descriptive details such as time, product, customer, and location. Usually arranged in a star schema or snowflake schema, this approach simplifies data navigation and boosts query performance through denormalization. It supports powerful analytics such as drill down, roll up, and slice and dice to uncover deeper business insights. This modeling technique is essential for creating effective reporting systems, dashboards, and data marts, enabling organizations to better understand and analyze their performance metrics. Exploring the data warehouse model, a system designed to collect, 
store, and manage large volumes of data from multiple sources supports business intelligence and decision-making. It organizes data into a centralized repository that enables efficient querying and reporting. This system integrates historical and current data, allowing users to analyze trends over time. Data is typically structured in subject-oriented, integrated, time-variant, and non-volatile formats to ensure consistency and reliability. It supports complex queries and helps organizations gain insights by providing a single source of truth. The architecture often includes ETL processes to cleanse and consolidate data from various operational systems. This approach is crucial for businesses aiming to improve performance through better data analysis, forecasting, and strategic planning. A simple guide to object-oriented model. This modeling approach focuses on representing data as objects, combining both data and behavior into a single unit. Each object encapsulates attributes and methods, mirroring real-world entities and their actions. It supports key concepts, such as inheritance, allowing new objects to adopt properties and behaviors of existing ones, and polymorphism, enabling objects to be treated in multiple forms. Objects interact through messages, promoting modularity and reusability in system design. This approach is highly effective for complex applications requiring rich data relationships and dynamic behavior such as software engineering and multimedia systems. By organizing data this way, it bridges the gap between real-world concepts and database structure, making development more intuitive and aligned with business logic. This method supports advanced features like encapsulation and abstraction, enhancing system flexibility and maintainability. Let's now understand the hierarchical database model. A widely used early approach in database systems organizes data in a tree-like structure where each record, node, has a single parent and can have multiple children. This structure creates a clear parent-child relationship, making it ideal for representing data with a natural hierarchy, such as organization charts, file systems, or product categories. Each child node is linked directly to its parent, allowing for fast and efficient retrieval when the data follows a strict top-down path. However, this model has limitations, such as rigid structure and data redundancy, because each child can belong to only one parent, making many-to-many -many relationships difficult to represent. This model laid the groundwork for future data modeling techniques and is still useful in scenarios where hierarchical relationships are consistent and predictable. Data modeling roles and what they pay. Data modeler functional, designs, conceptual, logical, and physical data models to align with business requirements, works closely with business analysts and database teams, typically earns between $75,000 and $115,000 per year. Data modeler technical, focuses on implementing and optimizing database structures using tools like ER Studio or Oracle Data Modeler, skilled in normalization, indexing, and performance tuning. Salary ranges from $80,000 to $125,000 per year. Data Architect defines data standards, architecture frameworks, and integration strategies across enterprise systems. Oversees all modeling layers. Can expect to earn between $100,000 and $160,000 annually. Business Intelligence Analyst translates data models into actionable reports and dashboards, works with dimensional models, star, snowflake schemas, generally earns between $70,000 and $110,000 per year. Data Governance Analyst ensures data models align with data quality, compliance, and governance policies, collaborates with data stewards and legal teams. Typical salary is $75,000 to $120,000 per year. ETL developer, data engineer, builds data pipelines that connect to well-modeled structures, maintains data integrity during extraction, transformation, and loading, earns between $85,000 and $135,000 annually. Data modeling lead, team lead, manages data modeling teams, oversees design standards, and ensures consistency across models. Salary typically ranges from $95,000 to $145,000 per year. Transform your skills in data modeling.
The Gologica Data Modeling course is a comprehensive program designed to provide professionals with deep knowledge of data modeling concepts and techniques essential for building effective data architectures. This course is ideal for data architects, analysts, BI developers, and database professionals aiming to design scalable and high-performing data solutions. The course covers both fundamental and advanced topics, including conceptual, logical, and physical modeling, normalization, dimensional modeling, and data warehousing schemas. Participants learn to create accurate data models, optimize database design, and ensure data quality and consistency across systems. GoLogica delivers this program through live instructor-led sessions to promote interactive learning. Practical exercises, real-world examples, and project assignments provide hands-on experience. Flexible options, such as self-paced and corporate training, make the course accessible for learners seeking to advance their skills and drive better business insights through well-designed data models.